And now it's time for 197, the undefeated Thomas Panola of Purdue matching up against Jacob Warner of Iowa. Warner 2-1 this season. Panola, the 2020 NCAA qualifier at heavyweight. He leads the team with 22 takedowns and 57 total points and three bonus point wins. So Panola has really been a one-man wrecking crew for the Boilermakers. Tell you what, my, my phone just lit up here because we did mention that Max Lyons was from Western Dubuque and not uh, uh, <laughs> Humboldt here. So forgive me, Northeast Iowa here, for making that mistake. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> we all make it. Jacob Warner ranked number three in the country here at 197, beat Illinois' Matt Robloski for nothing last weekend. Lost to number two ranked Eric Schultz of Nebraska, three to two decision. And you've seen a Jacob Warner on several occasions, Jim. He got as high as number two in the country last season. Bottom man set, hover. He is a junior out of Tolono, Illinois. Yeah, I think, we, we, you know, uh, Warner is not a, a, a big uh, bonus point guy, but this weight class is just wide open, Ray. I mean, that the uh, number one ranked wrestler that just got beat here re recently from, uh, um, uh, and I think Eric Schultz from Nebraska is probably going to slide into that number one uh, position, which, you know, Warner may move up as well here with it because they have, have had good battles in the past. So, you know, this is a weight class that, that's definitely winnable for somebody like Warner. And... Yeah, he's good in all positions, particularly good in the top position here. That's a nice uh, you know, cross wrist tilt that he's got going right there. That's a, a good big job four of elevating. Point swing by Warner. Yeah, and you know, but he's, he's, what I like about him is he's capable of winning those close matches. He's got good defense, and he's just got to uh, get going a little bit earlier in some of these tight matches, and you know, put up some points, and uh, you know, not, not just count on just you know winning. You know, uh, close, which he's very capable of doing, but you know, putting up points and focusing on that here until he gets into these uh, you know contested matches later on in the season. Well, Jacob Warner, back-to-back third-place finishes at the Big Ten tournament, 2019, a seventh-place finish at the NCAA tournament. Iowa had only allowed 16 points by opponents this season in three matches. Purdue has 18 total today. Yeah, it's just a. Uh, you know, this, it's, you can't come into Purdue anymore and, and, and uh, you know, not to expect something like happen. But also some Iowa guys are getting some pretty good experience here at these levels here too. So it's, uh, it's, just, it's just happening, you know. And, and uh, I think Purdue's really happy with what they've, what they've done to this point in the match. But, uh, you know, Iowa's still the number one ranked team in the country and won't lose their ranking in this beat. No question about it. Tav, for Iowa, they did not wrestle Spencer Lee. Also, you went ahead, and there is Tony Erslin, the head coach Stay of right the here, Purdue man. Boilermakers, former Iowa Hawkeye. He said, if I could, I'd wrestle Iowa every week. I want to put my team against the best team in the land as I, much as I can. I do believe that. I, 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 I. You see Terry Grant's talking with the official. What do you think they're talking about, Jim? Well, I, th I think what he's talking about there, and I think he's got a, a fair point, is, is that the, the way that uh, Warner is riding right there is very similar to what uh, Lyons was doing to uh, uh, Nelson Brands. So, yeah, it, it's a... Uh, uh, I didn't see whether the stall warning was called here from the angle that we had, but, uh, you know, he's just wrestling tough in the top position, and this is exactly what you saw in the Lions match against uh, 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 Nelson Brands. So... A, a good a good and fair point jacob warner leading thomas Keep panola yeah there i guess there was there was a stall warning there so yeah that's it's a it's a fair point so if you're looking at the score you're thinking 22 to 18 iowa leading what's going on well for iowa no spencer lee no alex marinelli and no caleb young either so neither one of those three were in the lineup at least in the first half of this double header for the hawkeyes but there is Jacob Warner. He is as tough as they come, Jim. Well, he's doing what, doing what he needs to do at this point in the match. And, and uh, Give me a nice pause. you know, Panola's got to try to go ahead and create a little more action, get a little more back pressure. So he's got to weight on his hands, no pressure of his back into Warner. And it doesn't really create any scrambles. It's really kind of easy to follow with that quad pod stand up. And he's just kind of hanging on him to milk out the clock. And that ends the first period. The two-time All-American from Iowa 
holding a six to nothing lead over Thomas Panola of Purdue. Warner, 43 and 11 career record, 16 and nine career record against ranked opponents. Panola ranked number 17 in the country. He's won 10 matches at 197, spent time at heavyweight, but now dropped to 197, was named Purdue's most dedicated wrestler. Seven to nothing lead for Jacob Warner, ranked number three in the country. And I think everything in the offensive arsenal that, that, that Warner has is available here to him. You know, he likes to get that, they've got that little right leg lead. It's kind of uh, uh, deceiving because I don't see many people really get to that right leg of, of his. I mean, he does a nice job of keeping it clean. Very quick with that. Uh, and, and really good with, with counter shots on it. But again, at this stage in the match, I mean, it's a great time for when you got Panola leaning on you, you know, working ties and all that stuff. It's a great time to go ahead and add to your lead. And don't forget, as we have a minute to go, coming up in under an hour, you will get number one Iowa and Ohio State, they will match up here on the Big Ten Network from West Lafayette. Shane Sparks, Tim Johnson on the call. Can't wait to get home and watch that one. On this Super Sunday, we bring you the number one team in the country, the Iowa Hawkeyes and the Purdue Boilermakers. They are battling. And Jacob Warner and Thomas Panola. If you're Panola, I'm surprised he's not trying to be more offensive, Jim. Well, I, I am too, but he's just got, he just has a square stance. And I, I guess I'm looking for uh, Warner basically to do what's just right there, just create more than a, just a one and done type of action. Or again, the guy, Panola has just a square stance on him. But move the head, get a good angle. Give up a little bit of ground, maybe get him to step into the bucket, All right? Now he's just gonna go ahead and counter him. Right there, get a better angle off of the sprawl. Nice oh, actually there. three straight attempts right there. He's really working hard, showing some endurance. But Warner gave up no points, and that was mightily impressive as we head to the third period. Yeah, Panola feels like he wants to go neutral. Now they just go, they're going toe-to-toe -to -toe right now, Jim. Yeah, they're just going to, Panola's made the decision that he's going to make this a physical match. You'll see if, what, how Warner answers that. Well, in 2019, Jacob Warner finished seventh at the NCAA tournament. For Panola, he finished seventh at the Big Ten tournament at heavyweight. Incidentally, edged Luke Luffman of Illinois three to two in the seventh place match. He's rewarded with a stall warning and point, and then goes out and collects a takedown against Warner. So, I think that they'd like to see him probably let him up a little bit, maybe. Or, or Warner's kind of keeping him hooked in there. It's a small crowd here in West Lafayette, but it's a lively crowd. Under 250 people due to COVID-19 regulations as we are approaching a minute to go in the third period. Can right. Panola get the takedown? Yeah, he comes up around the waist right there, tries to limp out. Center. And he's really making Warner look like he's not in this match. So <laughs> well, the you see fans, what I think they want a stall call is what it sounds like. Well, I, I, I just like the body language here with Panola right now here. You see him shuffling his arms right there as he walks back to center. He's getting himself going. He might be of the mindset that you might have won the battle, but you're not going to win the war. He is really taking it to Jacob Warner, even though Warner holds a five-point lead. Another stall warning there for another point that closes it to a four-point match. Now it's anything feet to the back, and you're back in it. Thomas Panola looking to cut into this four-point lead for Jacob Warner. Warner going outside, and out of bounds they go. Oh, you want <laughs> Panola. Wow. Oh, there's some theatrics going on here between Jacob Warner and Thomas Panola. Another shot. Oh. Final of what has been a wickedly entertaining 197 pound matchup. Jacob Warner, number three in the country, going to hold on 
for the decision win, much to the chagrin of Thomas Panola. Jacob Warner improves his record to three and one. That is the first blemish on the dossier of Thomas Panola as he falls to five and one. That's a big win, though, for Jacob Warner of Iowa. That's a nice win for Warner. He, he dominated the uh, first five minutes of the match, but, but Panola came back on him really solidly. And I think Panola's, you know, just shaking his head. He, if I would have got started a little bit earlier, and yeah. Tony Erslin talking and upset with the officials. Nonetheless, 25 to 18 is the lead.